Hi, dears. Hi, everyone. Happy and light Monday, light beginning of a new week for you all. This is Benny Dom by Anna YouTube channel, and it's me, Anna, with you here, of course. And today I'm in my particular house jungle on the terrace. Um, and we are here today, we gathered here today to discuss the latest update on the situation here in Spain, all the latest news, the restrictions, and basically what's going on here in Spain and, of course, in our lovely Benidorm region for today. So, as for the situation, I must say that, uh, as you all know, we do not usually have um, new numbers on Monday because uh, our government does not work on Sunday, so they do not give us the actual details. But instead, today uh, evening, they will give us the data for the two weekend days, Saturday and Sunday. But I checked the numbers uh, separately for all the regions. I have did quite a good research, I must say. Um, and I've checked that um, yesterday they've reported for Saturday's day 21,561 new cases, which is approximately the same more or less number that we used to have the previous week. So the situation shows that it's kind of stable. And the index has lowered itself for more than 23 points, which is just amazing. And the index for 14 days here in Spain right now, like for Sunday data, was 591 new cases per every 100,000 people living here. Which is very nice to hear because we were reaching like 680, uh, more or less, like slightly less than 700. Uh, we were reaching the index this time. It's not the biggest one that we had here in the country. We used to have like thousand something in the worst case that we had here in Spain. But right now it's already 591. Hopefully this index will continue to decrease day by day. Let's hope for the best. Uh, the Supreme Court is attacking those regions who um, were asking for the green certificate to be able to get inside the restaurants, bars, cafeterias and etc. Uh, because, for example, a lot of regions they wanted to put this measure on. The only one that had it was like Galicia that had it during like week or maybe even two weeks already. Uh, slightly more than that. So right now the Supreme Court has decided that it's enough and they've said that the green certificate cannot be asked anymore in Galicia. The same thing happens in Cantabria. Uh, no one basically can ask the green certificate to get inside the bars and restaurants. This new decision of the Supreme Court, especially in terms of Galicia, where it was already accepted um, happened because a lot of politic uh, like parties and a lot of people in general uh, were saying that it's illegal you are uh, basically forcing people to do something that they might not want to or still cannot do because there are a lot of people that are still not vaccinated here and only because they did not get the vaccine so far they are not allowed to enter so they need to spend like 100 euros for a pcr test or 45 euros more or less for the antigen testing which is not fair so this is like a kind of a discrimination this is why the supreme court has decided to eliminate this measure so no one can basically ask the certificate right now because it's illegal which for one part it's very good news for local business and in general for all the businesses in the area because people would not simply go to bars and restaurants knowing that they need to have this certificate especially those those who are vaccinated they don't mind really but those who are not, they would not spend extra um, euros just to be able to go into their favorite restaurant or the bar. So it's for this part, it's kind of a good news. And especially seeing that the situation is getting better, maybe this is not a very necessary measure just for now. Here in our Valencian region and in Benido, the situation is also stable. They say, they, I mean the government, local government, okay, no, the local government says that the situation is slightly getting better in terms of the people that are actually in the hospital, in terms of hospitalized and inside the ICU units. So their number is slowly decreasing, which is just amazing. Um, and the average number of uh, new cases is more or less the same that we've had the previous days. But, I mean, it's not something that we have to be surprised about because 
there's a huge amount of people here like literally by the way tomorrow i have a very interesting video for you guys that i recommend to see uh i was filming um yesterday for you on sunday because i tried to film this video like literally for two days in a row you cannot imagine how difficult it was to film it uh, because as you know i don't live in benidorm i live in Albier, which is a city like it's a small village right next to benidorm like literally like like this uh, and I always go with a car. I always drive to Benidorm when I need to film something. Uh, and I needed to park my car. And for two days in a row, I could not find any single parking space in Benidorm. And I will show it to you in tomorrow's video on what a madness it is to find a parking space. I'll show you complete parking lots. I'll show you a lot of people inside, like those who say that Benidorm is empty. You clearly did not see my videos and I recommend you to see tomorrow one because it's just crazy on how many people there are and every streets were full all the bars and restaurants are just full like there's a lot of people like I've never seen this happening like even uh, the pre-pandemic years uh, maybe even then I've seen it busy but parking lots I've never seen them full as they were this year so this is a video that's gonna be coming out tomorrow for you at 2 p.m Spanish time so don't miss that one strongly recommend you to watch it um, and um, actually there's like a lot of people like a lot uh, hotels are full like dynastic hotel i know that it's 100 percent right now like of all 600 that can be inside of this hotel there are 500 right now but all the hotels they need to reduce the total occupancy uh, because they need to maintain the social distancing between the people in the restaurant and stuff like that so they cannot actually have their full capacity inside um i know that melia benidorm is full as well uh, up until like 23rd of august more or less like there's a lot of people levante club um regente all the main hotels uh, most popular hotels here in benidorm they are almost full um which is amazing for our region because it's um it's a great news to be honest because the economy of our region will start recovering earlier if we have a lot of tourists here tourists also spend more money in average it's it's being told that they spend uh, 147 euros more or less per day here in our region which is um we're grateful for that because it means that a lot of people will be able to return to their workplaces there will be work um with more or less better or worse work conditions that's another theme separately uh, but at least people will have their job because there are a lot of job announcements online hotels are searching for people maybe it's not for like um, full time maybe it's not a permanent contract but still at least people will be able to work for some time to help their families uh, which is the best news ever to be honest with you uh, so here in our region we are perfectly fine of course there are cases of course the virus did not go anywhere of course we need to take all necessary precautions like the hand uh, sanitizing like disinfection we need to wear masks when we cannot maintain the one and a half meter social distance which is very hard to be honest with you right now in Benidorm uh, but apart from that we are living our usual lives we are um, lucky to be here. We're lucky to uh, be in this lovely area with these amazing views, with the beach, with the natural parks, with the culture that we have in here. Um, and we are just happy with what we have. Uh, we just need our work, our jobs back, and that's basically it. We will be happy with just having uh, and the next thing that I wanted to let you know about is about the car rentals. As you all know, uh, for a little while now, like from June approximately, we started having a lot of issues with the car rentals um, in terms of uh, the um, cars available and the prices that they ask us to pay for the car rental, like us in general, people who come here in our region. 
uh, you know that I was also renting a car with Centauro, but we've purchased our own car right now, so we do not already rent with them anymore because the prices were just so high that it was impossible to rent something. Um, and uh, right now, the prices still maintain quite high, I must say. I was checking it yesterday, and the price for uh, seven days for a basic insurance, which means that you need to leave a thousand fifty euros deposit when you pick up the car like when you make the payment inside uh, already in the office of centauro um and i've checked that fiat 500 which is like a two doors like two seating area it's a very small car costs more than 200 euros for seven days um this is a lot because usually you were able to like rent it for 40 even 50 euros a week uh, i remember the times when i could rent a big car like a sub you know like a big car um for approximately 80 to 100 euros for the entire month and right now only a week costs 200 euros with a basic insurance um, and all these things they're happening not only in Centauro they're happening in a lot of other car companies car rentals uh, not only here in Alicante but in all other areas because they are out of stock they don't have as many cars due to the lack of specific chips that need to be installed in the car to work properly and to work in general um, so a lot of car companies they've asked they've pre-booked the cars but due to the lack of stock they will were not receiving them and they will only start receiving them from september uh, onwards which means that these prices for car rentals are normal as for now they will be uh, maintained on the same level for august but starting from september they will get lower and lower because there will be more and more cars and less tourism so as a consequence the prices will get lower so you'll be able to rent a car once again but the difficult uh, time is right now, like the um, two, three weeks that are left from August, these weeks, the car rental will still be quite expensive. So don't get surprised when you go to car rental page and you see high prices, know that it's normal and approximately all companies have the same prices. To be honest with you, the cheapest one has been always with a big difference, the Centauro, because they offer a lot of discounts online, up to 35% that you can check for like specific coupons online and you can apply this discount for your booking and like this you get better car for less money. So basically these are all the news for today from our sunny country and our lovely favorite Benidorm region. Uh, and about the weather, I want to say that for a few days already in a row, we've been told that we, ha we will have the massive heat wave here in Spain that will start from this Thursday up until next Tuesday, so next week. Uh, and this wave will bring us the temperatures up until 46, 47, maybe somewhere even 48 degrees. Um, which happens sometimes each year we have at least once these kind of temperatures in summer uh, but this year they came only up like at the end of august usually they come earlier than that apart from that everything will maintain stable as you can see on this picture we will have no rain no clouds almost at all sunny stable uh, weather in all spain for today and uh, the temperatures as i've said right now they are very mild very nice and comfortable to stay outside on the terrace even on midday uh, and in the north parts of spain today it's expected to have between 21 and 32 degrees as you can see it's not a lot uh, in the center between 27 and 33 and south part between 25 and 34 and mediterranean area between 27 and 33 degrees so the temperatures are very nice and comfy uh, in Alicante and Benidorm area, it's expected to have approximately 31 degrees. By the way, here today, it's partially cloudy, which is very nice because you get out. You don't even need a sun hat. You just need to have a bottle of water with you and you can enjoy the walk. There's always a light, fresh breeze here by the sea. So you can actually enjoy your quality time outside. 
uh, and in Barcelona, it's going to be 28. In Granada, 37. In Malaga and Marbella, 27 degrees. Sevilla, 35. Madrid, 34. Murcia, 32. Balearic Islands, 35. Because the Kalima, the hot air mass from Africa, is coming towards the Mediterranean area. So this is why in Balearic Islands it's going to be uh, a lot more hot than here. In Canary Islands, between 24 and 28, and in Valencia, 30 degrees. As I've said, these temperatures, they will be rising up starting from Thursday, and we will probably reach at least 40 degrees here in our region. So if you're coming in these days, make sure you get your sun hat, something to cover your head. Don't go on a midday outside. Use sun protection for your skin and drink a lot of water water these were all the news i hope you enjoyed watching them i wish you a lovely day of today and i'm gonna see you tomorrow with a new video from benidorm as i've already mentioned we'll be visiting benidorm's historical city center and the old town with spectacular views of benidorm beach and we will see on how many people there are right now in benidorm see you tomorrow bye